Welcome back to Bunch of Lynch Games, and today let's talk PlayStation Vita, specifically the PlayStation TV. So this guy right here, I just picked one up on eBay, and I found a deal, which really doesn't feel like a deal because I paid ninety dollars for it with shipping. Um, and I traded away my Vita to get a PlayStation TV instead, and I want to talk about why. When you think about a PlayStation Vita, you think about joysticks, battery, portable, but also scratched up glass, joysticks can go bad, battery replacements. Those are all things you have to think about when it comes to maintaining a retro console. And when I personally thought about it, the more I thought about it, I didn't want to have to fix that down the road. So my solution was to get one of these. And while it's not the same, it's not as portable technically, I can't just pull it out and, oh, start playing. It's gonna last longer because it doesn't have a screen to be replaced, doesn't have a battery to be replaced, doesn't have joysticks to be replaced. And just having to fix one of those things would be fine, except they're not very user replaceable. One of my 3DSs, for example, you, you got a few screws here, which are actually a Phillips head. You can pop this off, you can pop a new battery in, you're good to go. But it's not the same on the Vita. You have to pry the back casing off, do a little more tinkering just to get to the battery. And while there are 100 million units of the 3DS out there, over that amount, there's not that many of the PlayStation Vita, meaning it could be hard to get replacements in the future, or if you need to replace a whole console, it could be more difficult. Which leads me to this that came in the mail. So the longevity of it's gonna be a lot better. If you need to replace a joystick, you just grab another controller. You have DualShock 3 and DualShock 4 compatibility. I won't get into the whole hacking community, but it's out there. You can do the Googling for that. There's also a good compatibility of games. I wouldn't say it's amazing because there's a lot of the library that's excluded, but there's definitely some really good titles that are good to go right out of the box. And these are just a few I picked up off my gaming shelf. If you want a first person shooter, Killzone Mercenaries, it does require that you have that uh, download update, kind of a patch. It's even on the box saying, hey, you might have to download one. You do have to download one for it to be compatible, but a great shooter if you're looking one for your PlayStation TV. If you want a good racer, Need for Speed Most Wanted. It was released on multiple consoles. This isn't the prettiest version, but it does the trick. And last, but certainly not least, Persona 4 Golden which is still very hot on the system, running around $60 right now. A little bit lower than, a, than its peak of $100, but still an amazing game to pick up. Golden, your only ways to play are either on a PC or a Vita slash PlayStation TV. And this is still my favorite way to play because I like playing with the controller. The last thing I want to mention about the PlayStation TV is the form factor is so tiny. Port-wise, we're looking at an Ethernet jack, an HDMI port, uh, USB and memory expansion. It does have one gigabyte built in, but I love, like the form factor. You can hide it behind a TV or you can throw it in a bag, take it with you while you're traveling and hook it up in a hotel. Um, just very easy to get around with versus a Switch while you can play on the go. You have to take a dock with you. I mean, you can get a smaller dock, but it's not gonna be the Nintendo first party one, a little bit more limited capabilities, but they're out there. I just prefer this very small form factor and my choice of controller, whether that's a DualShock 4 or DualShock 3, and I just throw them in my bag and I can go. And last thing to mention is there are limited run games out there that are compatible with the PlayStation TV. So that's worth exploring if you really wanna go that route. They're not getting any cheaper just because the PlayStation Vita is out of production and limited run games was a huge supporter of that trying to keep the games going on the Vita and the TV for so long. So why am I picking one up in 2022? Longevity. I don't want to service a Vita. I'd rather service a PlayStation TV which has a lot less parts and a lot less incidents that can make it break in the future. I also like that I can plug it into whatever monitor or TV where I'm at throw whatever controller I want in a bag and I'm good to go. I don't feel like I need that portability on the screen just because usually I'm the one who's either driving or doing whatever I get to get from point A to point B. And I'll play games at a hotel room or wherever else at my destination. So 
what do you think? Am I crazy for swapping out a Vita for a TV? Would you rather take a TV or a Vita? I obviously picked mine. Tell me what you think in the comments below and we'll catch you next time.